What's up, finance virtuosos? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving deep into the world of cybersecurity and looking at one of the hottest certs on the market, the Microsoft Cybersecurity Analyst Professional Certificate. The demand is through the roof, the salary potential is insane, and at only $49 a month it represents incredible value for an industry-recognized credential. Today, we're going to go full debate mode and really weigh the pros and cons of pursuing a career as a Microsoft cybersecurity analyst. Is it all rainbows and unicorns or are there some potential downsides to consider? If you're new here, this is the Finance Virtuoso channel, where we talk about all things finance. For your daily dose of valuable information on money, business, investments, and savings, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell right now. Before we get into the nitty-gritty, I think it's important to level set on what this Microsoft cert actually covers. The curriculum spans intro to operating systems, networking, cloud services, threat vectors, identity and access management, cybersecurity tools and technologies, compliance, capstone projects, and even preparation for the official SC-900 certification exam. So it's a pretty comprehensive package designed to provide you with a solid foundation across all the core cybersecurity domains an analyst needs to understand. You'll build technical skills but also get exposed to management and governance principles too. The courses leverage Microsoft's cloud platform Azure heavily, but a lot of the concepts apply no matter what specific tools or platforms a company is using. The hands-on portfolio projects also let you get reps in simulating real-world cybersecurity scenarios. Given the breadth and depth, you can be confident this isn't just some fluffy, intro-level material. Microsoft is bringing high-quality, career-ready training to the table. Okay, now let's start on the pro side. The biggest pro in my book is the crazy high demand for these types of roles. Cybersecurity is an absolute necessity in today's world with breaches and data leaks becoming increasingly common. Companies are freaking out, pouring money into cybersecurity like there's no tomorrow. And when you look at the stats, roles like information security analyst are projected to grow 35% over the next decade according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. That's ridiculously faster than average job growth. So from a job security and opportunity standpoint, cybersecurity is about as good as it gets right now. You've got a skills shortage driving up demand and demand driving up salaries. We're talking an average of $96,000 for an entry-level cyber analyst role. That's obscene for something you can get qualified for with just a $300 certificate. The salary trajectory is also just bonkers. Move into a managerial role and you're clearing $170,000 on average. Or go all the way up to chief cybersecurity officer and you're hitting $271,000, literally doctor level money. Very few careers offer that kind of income potential straight out of the gates. Another big pro is that you don't necessarily need a four year college degree to break into this field at the entry level. Now, I'm not knocking degrees, having one can definitely help. But these Microsoft and Google certificates were created precisely because colleges were failing to produce graduates with up-to-date cybersecurity skills that employers need. So for once, you've got a lucrative career path where a few months of guided online training from the experts at Microsoft can get your foot in the door. That's a game-changer for a lot of folks who can't afford or don't want a four-year university education. Okay, now let's play devil's advocate and look at some of the potential cons and downsides to weigh against all those pros. The first big one is the bias and elitism that can exist and it comes to hiring for entry-level cyber roles. Because of the high stakes involved, i.e. businesses can get massively fined if there's a data breach on your watch, companies can be super risk-averse about who they hire. Even with a solid certificate under your belt, you may face an uphill battle convincing employers to take a chance on you straight out of the gates for that first cyber job. Having prior IT experience or an internship can help offset this. Another potential con is that while the Microsoft cert provides a great foundation, 
it's probably not a complete 100% solution on its own. For most people, complementing it with additional certifications, self-study, a robust portfolio of projects, and maybe some entry-level IT job experience first will be required to become truly hireable. The good news is that the opportunities to stack credentials and gain experience are there. But it may take more work than just knocking out this one cert to achieve that coveted cybersecurity analyst role. You've got to be ready to go the extra mile. There's also the fact that while the income potential is stellar, cybersecurity is a pretty high-stress, high-accountability line of work. If things go wrong, you're essentially the one holding the bad news bag that's getting passed to the C-suite. It's not for the faint of heart or those who wilt under pressure. Finally, while you don't need a university degree, cybersecurity does have a bias towards degree holders. Most public and private sector cybersecurity job postings require a bachelor's at minimum, even if you have qualifying certifications and experience. So you may face the hurdle of having to explain and overcome that lack of a four-year degree throughout your cyber career. It's possible, but can be another added challenge. Now, let's not forget the ever-evolving landscape of cybersecurity threats. As a Microsoft cybersecurity analyst, you're not just signing up for a static role, you're stepping into a world where the threats morph daily. This means continuous learning is part of the job description. You'll need to stay on top of the latest security trends, threats, and defense mechanisms. This can be both a pro and a con. It's a pro because it keeps the job exciting and ensures that your skills remain in high demand. But it's also a con because the learning never stops, and the pressure to stay ahead of cyber criminals is relentless. In this field, complacency is your enemy, and adaptability is your greatest ally. Embracing this challenge can lead to a rewarding career that's as dynamic as it is critical to the modern digital world. So, if you're someone who thrives on change and continuous improvement, cybersecurity might just be the perfect fit for you. All right, those are the pros and cons of the Microsoft Cybersecurity Analyst role. There's a ton to be excited about, I mean, who doesn't want a six-figure job ridiculously early in their career doing important work that's in crazy high demand? But like any career, it's not all sunshine and lollipops. There are some downsides and obstacles to consider as well. It's about weighing the pros and cons for your specific situation and deciding if the rewards are worth the sacrifices. For me, I'm leaning pro on this one. The income trajectory and way to skip past traditional four-year degree requirements make cybersecurity too good to pass up, especially for the value proposition of an affordable certificate like this Microsoft one. But I'm curious to hear your thoughts. What do you see as the biggest pros and cons to becoming a Microsoft cybersecurity analyst? Would you recommend this path or give it a hard pass? Let me know in the comments below. And do me a favor and tap that like button if you found value in this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.